All right, so uh, this is a bit of a longer video, and uh, I'm going to cut to the chase right now at the very beginning in case you want to just understand what's going on, and you don't need the big explanation. We're having a baby. Uh, we're having a baby. I found out around the same time as I was planning all these videos, creating this new channel, getting started, you know, to build this new channel, and, you know, I still wanted to commit to it. I still wanted to do it. But I've got this new commitment that is on the way. And between my main channel, my stream, everything else, I'm looking at my life and I'm like, can I handle another channel? And, you know, I don't have to post all the time. I can post when I want to. But it's just, you know, that is a pretty big thing here. And, uh, you know, I, I've been busy with my son's hockey. And, and I'm starting to look at my life and I'm starting to realize that, like, maybe there is a limit to how hard I can work. And I do work hard. I put in a lot of time. And... You know, I think maybe I've bitten off more than I can chew. So I'm just going to be honest with myself. And, you know, my family is really important to me. And I, I think I need to look at myself in the mirror and go, Michael, do you need a fourth channel? Like, do I need a, I've got a Twitch stream. I've got MTash clips. I've got MTash. Do I need another channel? The short answer is like, I do want to play some other games and I don't want to mess up the MTash channel. We'll get into that later. But I got a baby on the way. I got family stuff, and I, I think that maybe I, I bit off more than I could chew here. The other one is overall happiness of just the game. Like the raid, crafting was pretty cool. I'm having fun playing it again, but for whatever reason, I'm having a hard time grinding it and playing long term. I will elaborate that further in the video, but those are the main things. I'm having a baby, and for some reason, even after such a big break, I just feel like, eh, about most of the gear, most of the guns, and you know, it's, it's like something that I've returned to. I had so much fun, but it, I don't have this obsession with Destiny and, uh, and this obsessive happiness anymore. And uh, you know, I thought it was going to be different myself, and I apologize, apologize if I let you down. I cry at the end of this video because I'm frustrated. <laughs> so if you want to see all that, you could do that. I'm not doing this to be annoying. I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. I don't want to upset you. I feel terrible about this, but I'm, I'm just being honest. Hey everyone, MTash here, and I haven't posted a video in like 12 days. And I want to talk about it. I, I need to be honest with you guys. I want to talk about what is going on in my brain, in my heart, in my life. Because it isn't just because of Destiny that I haven't posted. There are some things going on in my life that are preventing me to, uh, from, from posting, or, or it's, it's, I'm, I'm kind of second-guessing what the hell to do here. And I want to explain what's going on first, all right? I, I, I played a bunch in the first few days. I did the World First Raid race. And, um, you know, I've beaten the raid multiple times. I did Trials of Osiris, and I'm going to give you my kind of overall thoughts on the game and the crafting and where we're at with destiny but i'm gonna talk about a couple things first number one more mtash is a side project and i have to focus on my main stuff first and even though i've actually cut back on some of the main channel stuff because things have been slow in my other game between sponsors that channel my clips channel streaming there still is a lot of work, and so I have to play Destiny and cover Destiny in my spare time. And unfortunately, after a week, week and a half, I was already starting to have a hard time jumping on this game and grinding, which we'll get into in a minute. But obviously, there's something there in my heart saying, I'm not having fun. I'm not having fun enough to play let alone cover the game and force myself to do it. And you know, I'm going to be blunt with you. I bet you the mass majority, 70%, maybe even more of the content creators you watch from day to day do not have fun playing this game, but it's their job. And they don't talk about it, but every game that gets covered, doesn't matter if it's Destiny or Fortnite, most creators end up getting burnt out. They get bored, but they keep doing it as a job. And I did it for many years. But now I'm covering another game, which admittedly, a lot of the time, I don't have fun on. But admittedly, it is my job and I have to cover that game. And so in my free time, when I'm supposed to be playing Destiny, and when this is a fun project that I'm supposed to do on the side, because it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, my main channel pays all my bills 20 times over. This is supposed to be fun, 
but I'm not playing when I should. I'm not grinding it out the way I could, and I have in the past, because for some reason, it isn't bringing me that joy that I expected. I took a big break. I made a video saying, I want to be a guardian again, because I do. I do. But it's not as fun as I thought it was going to be. After such a long time, I'm getting into the exact same loop and frustrations. Or not even frustrations, it's just a, an inevitability when you play as much. I cannot replace much of my gear. Like, it, it's so hard to get any upgrades, and so most of the gear I get, pretty much useless. And, I, you know, I don't have a lot of my weapons equipped here, but a lot of the weapons in the game... Another 140 hand cannon is another 140 hand cannon. And I just, I, I, it's hard for me to go, is this the best hand cannon ever? Even though it can get almost the same rules as the palindrome and the fate bringer and other weapons like the IS Luna and it's only fractionally better and actually some stats are worse. But there's an origin perk. I understand that the new Kantata hand cannon, you know, might be a great weapon. But I have a hard time hyping it up. And making a video and testing it out and being like, oh, it's so sick. And, you know, there's other weapons like this, this crate. I could make a video on this thing. It's got Vice Stinger, One for All, Stat for All. I thought it was really cool. I got out on the first day and I was like, damn, this thing is pretty sweet. But at the end of the day, it is a pretty average auto rifle that does a pretty average job that is fractionally better or fractionally worse than every other primary type weapon in the game. And it's not like it's the recluse that's going to change your life forever or the mountaintop that's going to completely change the game. It's an auto rifle that can roll similar to other auto rifles, but all oh, there's an origin perk. And for whatever reason, it's not exciting me enough to want to share. And it's also like seven years into this game, you probably already know if it's good or bad. You don't need me to tell you. And so, realistically, if I was going to make a video, it's because I'm really hyped up, I'm really excited, I'm really having a lot of fun. But that isn't happening. And I'm going to cut to some footage while I talk about the next part of this video. So, one annoying thing is the connections right now are terrible. The lobby balancing is just atrocious. But the amount of AFK players, I haven't seen this since people were farming for those tokens in the menagerie and going AFK. But I'm seeing so many AFK games, terrible teleporting lobbies, and it's hard to take the PvP very seriously. And it's like, it is one of those things that I love. And it's one of the things that I like to do in Destiny. And PvP is probably just as bad, if not worth, uh, worse than when Stasis was in the game. It's just a different annoying thing. And I'm going to jump ahead here. But the invis in this game, I, I just can't even believe how they let this in the game and i play into this guy's hands and i die to him multiple times and i get farmed and could i outplay him and could i could i play differently i probably could but between the the invis fusions the invis last word the game is just not fun and i played trials on the weekend half the lobby was invis half of the lobby was uh, chasing around, just throwing an Axion, and they would disengage. And it just doesn't feel like fast, fun gameplay. There's tons of special weapons. It's always shotguns. It's always fusion rifles. I get it. And, you know, am I a little rusty? Probably. And am I getting farmed by this guy with the last word? Yeah, I am. Is it frustrating? It is. And could I probably outplay him if I put some time in? Yeah. But it's just the fact that the invis can be so prevalent, so spammed. You know, people are pushing in with, with shotguns and fusions 24-7, and I just, I feel like it's not a game that I'm enjoying to play anymore. And, you know, when it isn't my job, it, it's, it's a lot harder to force myself to play something that isn't fun because it was my job for a long time, and I forced myself to play for a long time, and I already feel like I'm forcing myself to play after a week and a half. And that shouldn't be the case. I liked the raid. I had fun in the raid. It truly, truly was incredible. It was awesome. But I, even with that, a lot of the PvE in this game can't keep me excited. And so it's, it's nothing that Destiny did wrong, 
This update had one of the best campaigns I've ever played. The raid was really good. There are some really cool guns to chase. Crafting has been an interesting mechanic, even if it's not the, the best executed thing I've ever seen. But I'm feeling already burnt out. I'm feeling unmotivated to play. And until that changes, I just, I'm, I'm not going to post. <laughs> I'm not going to force out videos because I don't need to force out videos. And I'm sorry if you feel baited, but I feel baited because I, I just, I thought I was going to feel different. I, I swore that I was not going to be burnt out. I swore that with all these changes, oh my God, they fixed so many things that I was frustrated with, but they also introduced other things that were maybe even worse. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I feel this way. Now, I will probably play some games like maybe like Tiny, Tiny Tina's Wonderland and some other games on this channel. Because regardless, the MTash channel is stuck in anime land. I can't get away from it now. I don't necessarily want to get away from it. There are some games that are coming out that I'm excited for. But my channel, MTashed, is super anime focused. It is different regions. It is a completely different audience. And I'm, I'm honestly happy that I didn't try to cover Destiny on the MTash channel and bait everyone over there, and then quit again. But I also recognize that 30,000 people subbed to this new channel. I'm getting emotional. I feel like I baited you, and I feel like I'm letting you down, and I don't want to feel this way. And I want to make content for you, and I know that a lot of people like my... I know that a lot of people like my content, and they want to watch me play this. But I'm not happy. And... No, I'm sorry if I let you down, because I know your people on the other end of that. You know, it's 30,000... 30,000 people that I feel like I let down. And it's hard to accept that, and I just... I feel guilty. But I appreciate all you, and... Uh, Thank you, and, you know, there might be some videos here. I don't know if you're going to like them or not, but I, I probably will use this channel for some other games that I am interested in, but Destiny is just, it's, uh, it's just not making me happy.